In the upcoming lectures, I will explain you the more feature, how to technically use it and what it does to your PowerPoint project. But here I'd like to give you a visual preview. Don't do anything within this lecture. This is one of the lectures I've created and what the more transition allows you to do is basically adding animations without animating anything. If I delete animations, I take my existing slide and I duplicate it and I move objects around, for example, outside of the screen or to the bottom part of the screen, yet they are the same elements that they were on the previous slide. If you click on the morph, it will do the movement for you. This can create many unique opportunities to animate. For example, here I had text on the top side. Let's assume that you want to get rid of text number four, text number five, text number six, and look what happens. I would have the presentation and going to the next slide, I know that they would move outside of the screen when I click morph. Whoosh, you can see they disappear. But it is also difficult because the items have to stay here above the slide. If I just delete them, then what do you think what PowerPoint will do? It will no longer have informations. Hey, this text moved here. I should move it. No, no longer. So if I click morph right now, they will simply fade out. This is why sometimes you can simply use the fade out transition, but the morph transition gives you far more opportunities to utilize animations in PowerPoint. You can combine the morph feature with animations and with changes. For example, this slide. If I would plan to explain you just this one point, I would move the text away, I would make this bigger, I would place it in the middle and clicking the morph would do everything for me. You can see something beautiful. In the upcoming lectures, I want to go for a more theoretical approach and show you the technical capabilities of this feature.